A 35 miles long rift appeared in the Ethiopian deserts of the far region in 2005, and it's the start of this whole thing. Geologists have confirmed that the African continent is going to split into two halves, and a new ocean is also being formed. A new study in the journal Nature found that the East African Rift Valley, which separates coastal countries like Tanzania and Kenya, passes through Mozambique from the far area of Ethiopia, is separating at the rate of 7 mm per year. Landlocked countries like Uganda and Zambia will have their coastlines. The massive eruptions of volcanoes along the rift much provide insights in the Africa's splitting process. Along the rift, there are many active volcanoes, in particular the Erta Ale volcano in Ethiopia, which has been erupting non-stop over the past 50 years. According to geologists who took initial physical studies at a lava lake on a sizable volcano, noticed that the red haze of the lava flows a few kilometers away. Could these actions be the manifestation of a tectonic transition? Well, a large area of volcanism, seismic activity, ground uplift, and the development of cracks are all caused by the surface expression of rifting. But what exactly causes rifting? A rift valley is formed as a result of the pulling apart of the lithosphere due to extensional tectonics. Rifts are the first step of continental breakup, and as a result, a new ocean basin is always formed. Balkanism and seismic activity are surface indicators of this whole process that appear along the Rift Valley. For example, the South Atlantic Ocean was formed as a result of separation of Africa and South America around 138 million years ago. The East African Rift is characterized as an active kind of rift where the circulation of the underlying mantle is the source of these stresses later resulting into fault lines. The formation of a sizable mental plume which bring about raise in temperatures and primary faults causes the lithosphere beneath lifted higher. Scientists believe that the hot mantle plume commonly referred to as the African super swell is the source of the pull apart forces causing the formation of the East African Rift Valley. In addition, the topography of rifts is particularly distinctive, consisting several depressions bordered by fault lines and surrounded by higher grounds. Not all these cracks developed simultaneously, but rather in series that spread at a rate of 2.5 to 5 inches per year in the southern part of Zimbabwe, to the far east of Ethiopia about 35 million years ago. The formation of new fault lines and cracks as the Nubian and Summer Lake plates move apart results into earthquakes. Volcanism is a surface indication of the ongoing process of continental breakup. The East African Rift is young in the south and the extension rate is low, though the fault lines are widely spreading, which allows us to see the rifting stages in real time. However, the bottom is entirely covered with volcanic rocks as it approaches the far region. This implies that the lithosphere has completely broken apart in this region. Magma will therefore solidify resulting to a gap left turning into a large water body. The Victoria Microplate, which is the biggest on Earth, and it's tucked between each side of the Rift Valley, may hasten the process due to its anti-clockwise movements for the past two years. The Victoria Plate has been moving in the opposite direction compared to all other plates, including the African Plate itself, which might be a bigger hand in hindering the process. Although this is how everything is, the Afar region is one of the few places on Earth that most closely resemble the Moon's surface. The arid and barren region in eastern Africa, pressed up against the Red Sea, is covered with lava created by rifting of a continent. The Afar region is home to a triple junction as the Nubian, Somali, and the Arabian tectonic plates all come together to form a huge eye on the surface of the Earth near Eritrea and Djibouti. More than 3,700 miles southwards into the center of Africa is the Great Rift Valley. The Sinai Peninsula is where the Red Sea Rift meets the northwest. The Aden Ridge and Oceanic Flow Ridge extend to eastwards and the boundaries all extend at the rate of 1.5 centimeters annually. Due to its complex structure, Africa is a continent that is rupturing apart. 
the Arabian plate in the northeast has also been displacing itself from Africa, which is a good location example of continental breakup. More and more, as the Arabian plate eventually comes into contact with the Eurasian plate currently known as Iran, the Persian Gulf will close and become a part of Eurasian. Scientists have been aware of the rifting in the eastern part of Africa, but the exact cause has been difficult to determine. The earth-changing occurrences truly exist but seem to be unnoticeable to us due to the national processes taking hundreds of millions of years to happen. The East African Rift is a good example. The rifting is proven to split the whole African continent, but the process is very slow to the extent that nobody could really notice this. Geophysical study estimates that the rifting process in Africa will take tens of millions of years to eventually turn into an ocean that will separate the continent into two parts. None of us or our children's generation will be around to experience the magnificent occurrence.